Rincon, Puerto Rico, a town on the western side of the island. It's one of the best places for surfing, sunsets, and cocktails on the beach. Join me in this adventure as we discover everything Rincon and the western part of Puerto Rico has to offer. Okay, so this is our Airbnb in Rincon, right on the ocean. Walk into a beautiful bedroom with an air conditioning unit. A wide angle here, big closet. You've got a nice kitchenette. Not really a kitchenette, kitchen. Full size, everything. You've got a nice bathroom, pretty average shower. A living space where you can sit down, take a load off, watch TV. The absolute best part of this place is you are right on the ocean. Look at this. Some chairs, best place to watch the sunset. Just stunning. Highly recommend this Airbnb. Angie was amazing and you just can't beat this view. Domes Beach is one of the premier surfing beaches in Rincon. There's a viewing platform with a little cafe where surf watchers can enjoy the surfers down below catching the waves. On the opposite side, you'll see cliffs with large rocks and waves. It was really wonderful to sit up here with the other tourists and locals alike, watching the surf and the surfers do their thing. This beach is not suitable for swimmers, only surfers. That's one nice thing about this beach. If you are a surfer, you don't have to dodge other people swimming in the water. So we got takeout from the beach house for lunch for our first meal here in Rincon. And we have a tuna taco that has all uh, stuffed with all kinds of amazing stuff. This is a empanadilla filled with chicken and mofongo with some type of spicy mayo dipping sauce and then we have fresh tortilla chips with pinko de gallo and guacamole i am so excited about this let's give it a try okay so excuse the bad lighting but we're gonna try this food i'm gonna try the empanada empanadilla empanadilla chicken and mofongo. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, that smells amazing. Mmm. 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 This is so good. I'm also super hungry. I haven't eaten for like 24 hours, so maybe that's another reason why I'm, this is so good, but the spices is perfect. It's very flavorful. It's not spicy. There's just lots of spices in there. So it has a lot of flavor. Um, the shell is like crispy, but not super like crunchy. Uh, we got it to go, so maybe it would have been crunchier if we had had it there. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. And that spicy mayo, really good. Okay, let's try a chip with some guacamole. I mean, it is what it is, right? But maybe it's like amazing. Mm, that's really good. Great flavor. Let's try the pinko de gallo. 
I'm so hungry. I just want to eat all of this right now. <laughs> The chips are perfect. Thin, crispy. They're so warm. The pinko de gallo is really good. Very fresh. Okay, now with this a massive taco. Oh my gosh. It's so big. I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this. This might be a situation where I pick it up and I cannot put it down. It is just stuffed. It's got like avocado, chickpeas, cilantro, onion, cucumber, uh, tuna, obviously. It looks like um, maybe a ceviche tuna situation or maybe it was lightly seared and it has sesame, black sesame, and it looks like there's also some cabbage in here. So much good stuff. Let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Oh, it's so fresh. The fish is super fresh. The chickpeas are fried, I think, so it adds a nice crunch and all the vegetables in here and that cilantro. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Mmm. That is so amazing. I think we'll definitely be going back to the beach house. It's really cute up on a hill overlooking the ocean and the lighthouse here in Rincon. And I think you can see the sunset from there and they have seats like facing the ocean so you can eat while you get an amazing view. It's a really beautiful location and the food is really good too. So can't really beat that. I'm gonna finish this up. <laughs> so I'll see you a little bit later with uh, something else. Later on, we headed to a spot called Gastro Park 115. And it's a collection of different food trucks all, you know, bundled together so you don't have to travel between them. They were placed just to, to <laughs> there are places to sit down and eat your food once you got it. We had a hard time choosing where to eat, but we finally chose this Ocean Point. They had empanadillas and skewers and a few other things. So we placed our order here and waited quite a long time for our food. There were also quite a few mosquitoes. I guess that's to be expected on a tropical island, but just something to keep in mind if you're planning on coming here and enjoying food outside at night. I would not actually recommend going to Gastro Park at 115, at least not the places that we went to. The food wasn't very good. It looked like she was making it fresh, but it didn't taste fresh so my thought is maybe it was already made and she heated it up in the microwave I'm not sure the food took a long time to get to us and it was pretty disappointing when it did get to us so just keeping it real um, wanting to you know tell the whole story here is what our food looked like it looks really good and I thought it would be the next day, we stopped off at a local bakery called Rinkamini Bakery. It had a few items that I definitely wanted to try, so we picked up a few baked goods and headed to Steps Beach. The driving in Rincon is a little bit fun. The streets are pretty narrow, and there are a lot of interesting things to see along the way. Okay, so one of the things that we were told, well, I was told we had to have 
when we were here is a quesito, which is like a fried dough with some type of cheese inside and it's warm. So we got this from the bakery and I'm really excited to try it. Okay, so I split the casito in half because I'm sharing it, but let's take a bite and see what we think. It looks like it has some cheese in there. Mmm, it's really warm. It's like a cream cheese, but it's not super sweet. There's some sugar on the outside. It's very flaky and crispy. So it's obviously fried. This is really good. It's like a cross between um, a cheesecake and like an apple pie from McDonald's. It's really good. After finishing our quesitos, we grabbed our snorkel gear and headed through the path to Steps Beach. There's not much parking at this beach, but it is beautiful and you can see beautiful fish and coral right off of the beach. No boat required. You're cute. Cute cows. Hello. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're so cute. Here we are at beautiful Step Beach. We are about to go snorkeling because this is one of the only beaches in Rincon where you can snorkel straight off the beach. Well, snorkeling did not go exactly according to plan. Coming off of the beach, the current is really strong. Sorry if the wind is really uh, boisterous. It's kind of a windy day and the rocks to get into water are very slippery and so it's exhausting and I'm really out of shape. And once you get in there, um, I'm just not used to breathing through a snorkel and I kind of was panicking a little bit and I just want to listen to my body and not do something that is going to be not good. I don't want to get out into the ocean and then realize that I can't uh, do it and then have an issue. So I did go in and I saw some fish. Um, my husband's in now and he has a camera, so hopefully I'll get some good footage of what he caught for you to see here at Steps Beach. Um, but right now I'm just gonna enjoy the beach. We got some paddle boarders. Some people are snorkeling. The waves are pretty high. They say if you come earlier in the morning, uh, the waves are less choppy and we got here kind of late. Everything takes a little bit longer here in Rincon. Everyone's on island time so I found the three meals that we've gotten <clears throat> have taken like 30 to 40 minutes to get food no matter you know what kind of food you're getting. We went to a bakery and we got two things that were already prepared and a sandwich and it took 40 minutes to get so that's another reason why we're here a little bit later. Um, but it's still a really beautiful beach and I'm gonna enjoy sitting here. One thing I didn't mention is we brought our own mask and snorkel and we didn't bring fins because we didn't have enough room in our bags. I think that fins would really help here because the current is pretty strong and to get out to where the reef is, you need to either be a really strong swimmer or just have fins because it'll propel you quicker. So I wish I had fins. I think it would be better, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Just have to come back another time. All right. All right. And that is why they call it Step Speech because there is a concrete 
set of steps right on the beach. After enjoying Steps Beach, we decided it was time for lunch. We headed to the beach house where they have open air seating, a beautiful view of the ocean, and some pretty tasty drinks and food. I got myself some tropical punch with rum, and we also ate these amazing nachos, just piled high with pulled pork and jalapenos. Pinko de gallo, sour cream, guacamole. They were delicious. We enjoyed the view while we ate and drank to our heart's content, watched the cars go by and the clouds roll through. It was a very peaceful afternoon and I highly recommend a stop at the beach house if you find yourself in Rincon. That evening, we visited Via Confresi Bar, a bar located right next to our Airbnb. We got the pirate special served in a fresh coconut and really enjoyed sitting at this bar with the music and the waves. Heading back to our hotel that evening, we enjoyed the most beautiful sunset from the balcony of our Airbnb. Rincon is said to have the most beautiful sunsets in Puerto Rico, and based off of the footage that I got, I can't disagree. The next morning, we grabbed coffee at a little coffee truck. Right after coffee, it was lunchtime. So we headed to Jack's Shack's Tacos. The best tacos I've ever had in my life without exaggeration. We tried both the jackfruit tacos and the fish tacos. Both were stunning. We also had a watermelon juice that tasted so fresh. I highly recommend a visit to Jack Shack if you're in Rincon. When you come to Rincon, definitely come check out Jack Shack. These fish tacos are amazing. Mm -hmm. so, so good. Jack Shack and this beach were the last stop before heading to San Juan. If you are planning a trip to Puerto Rico, I highly recommend a trip to the west end of the island, Rincon and Aguadilla area. It's beautiful and much less touristy than San Juan.